Like, I've been sitting on my phone for weeks, like, trying to get Jaw to turn green. And now he's just never going to turn green. I mean, we'll see, though. You could have, like, a late, uh, no, I don't know. He he should probably be suspended. Especially if he's got stuff going on, I would suspend him for the rest of the season and let him figure yeah. it out. Because he's got such a future ahead of him. Like, I hope he figures it out, dude. Yeah. Because yeah. he is exciting to watch. Dude. He is. Welcome back to the dojo. We got another episode of TFM Bets on the Horizon. We have a full cook session of a prize picks season long goat whale for the MLB ahead. Um, first, share the pod with a friend. Appreciate you guys. But dude, I had to. I had to ask you, how are you doing? One, I can't hit a bet right now. So, I'm dude, kinda, kinda me chambles. either. It's me either, bro. Youngstown fucking state, dude. So I was talking to the guy. I was talking to my friends last night about that game, and. This is just the epitome of conference tournament and March time. Like we were having this conversation and I said, it's, I think it's almost time to throw out the lines. It's almost time to throw out the lines. Yeah. I don't think any plus 400 money line bet is dumb. I don't think any plus one and a half bet is dumb. I don't think any plus 10 and a half bet is dumb because we're at the point now where these guys are playing on neutral sites with new rims against the same teams, but in different environments, like, how does Youngstown State minus three and a half lose by fourteen? Like that's incredible, dude. They they flirted back too. I know, dude. I was like watching it on ESPN because I I didn't want to like watch the game, I mean, and I was just good. like, dude. I was like, oh my god, we're right there. I know. It was like fifteen nineteen, right? It was, I was like the last I was time I was trying really to like close. not watch it because every time I wasn't watching, they would storm back, bring it down to four. They were down four, mm -hmm. and then I ended up losing by like eighteen, dude. I like I just don't even. And I was I was so hot coming into March, and I kind of knew like at some point something's got to give, and I'm gonna start like not seeing the board as well as I once was, um, and it's officially happening. Like just conference tournaments are. It's also tough because it's all mid majors. I'm really good yeah. at betting the big programs, but yeah. when it's like Youngstown State versus Northern Kentucky, and fucking Marquise comes out. What is that kid on Northern Kentucky's name, Nick? If you can look it up, I, I think it's Marcus Marquise. Not battle, but it's. He's incredible. Walking bucket was like, the reason he was. Yeah, and he had like thirty, dude. Game. Came out was like four for four, like lights out. I can't hit a lay. I can't hit a prize picks right now. It's Northern Kentucky. It's so annoying, dude. I can't. I and it's like, I just hate mid major basketball. To be honest with you, like I don't, I don't hate it, but I hate it at the same time. Like I think it's fun to watch. The Marquez Warwick. Yeah. Warwick. Marquez Warwick. Yeah. He came out just fucking firing, dude. And I was like, yeah, we're done. The minute I saw that, I was like, we're done. But it's like, I just, I can't do the mid major shit anymore. I mean, obviously, I'm going to keep doing it because it's fun to like bet on. But, dude, it's so frustrating. Like last night, I took Bothwell on Furman. He's been averaging like three threes a game. Took him over one and a half. He was no. 0 for four. None. It's like, dude, Furman wins by 12. Their yeah. best score doesn't hit. A single three, like at least get one. one. I gotta look. I gotta look at a full red prize pick square. Like that's the worst feeling ever. Yeah, I mean the NBA hasn't been too much nicer either. No. Oh wait, I didn't even check. What? I did an all Kentucky entry yesterday. It was like Tyler Hero, Maxi, and who sold it? Jamal Murray. It was Tyler Hero. Oh. Dude, I kind of like doing those like kind of meme things. Dude, like, I love them. The other day I did. Uh, like Keegan Murray, Jamal Murray, and DeJounte <laughs> Murray. <laughs> All three green. You have like good meme ones though. Like I just do, I'll do like guys that played at Kentucky. You'll be like the Murrays. The Murray family. <laughs> um, no, but that Kentucky one was a good idea. Let me see if we have one on the board today. Or oh, like we do. Jalen Williams, Jamal Williams. We have another Jamal Kentucky Williams. one. Really? Randall, Julius Randall, PJ Washington. Um, Jalen Green went to the G League, right? Jalen Green G League. Right? No. SGA. Yeah. Kentucky. Dog. Dog. <laughs> Julius Randle. Anthony SGA. Davis. Dog. Dude, look at this. The Kentucky light. PJ Washington, Julius Randle, SGA, and Anthony Davis. I love it. I'm actually going to put 100 on that I right now. That. that could so hit. No, that could so hit. All right. The Knicks are balling right now. Julius Randle's monster. Dude, they're balling. I, I honestly think like... It's better for the league when the Knicks are good. Yes, dude. I was that, that was exactly what I was going to say. I honestly think it is so much more fun when 
the big market teams or like iconic teams are good. Yeah. Like it's way more fun when the Yankees are good at baseball as much as I hate the Yankees. It's just fun when they're good. Way more fun in the NBA when the Knicks are good. Like the Knicks are such an iconic basketball team that when they're good, it's like, it's exciting. Like yeah. it makes me excited even though I'm not like a Knicks fan to be like, oh, the Knicks are like good right now. And I think a lot of it is, are we dead? All right. I think a lot of it is to the, the Joe Burrow method with Joe Burrow and Jamar. Like Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson played at Villanova together. I think it was three years. They won two Big East tournaments together. They won two natties together um, or at least one natty together. They're, they're best friends. Like it is like I think that really does affect a locker room when you have a best friend in there. And for sure. It, I, I feel like you you saw it with the Bengals when they brought Jamar in. It was almost like everyone on the Bengals got closer because yeah. Jamar's so close with Joe that now Jamar's in the room with T every day. Now Jamar and T are tight. Now T's tight with Joe, I'm sure. And I'm sure it's the same thing now. Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart have been best friends forever. And now it kind of brings that energy into the locker room, I'm sure, where everyone's kind of like, oh, dude, we're just like a bunch of fucking boys now. Yeah. Because like when you have best friends, I feel like it makes such a difference. Like It makes everyone feel like more of a cohesive unit instead of a bunch of guys like randomly all over the place. Yeah, I don't think they've lost a game since they got Josh Hart. And that that has to do with the chemistry, right? Yeah. Like he's not a he I th I think he moves the needle more than people think. I think he's a great defender. Um and I think he does off the ball stuff better than a lot of guys in the NBA, but I feel like that's got to be chemistry. Yeah, for sure. Like bringing that That one video of Brunson like freaking out. You, do you see that when yeah. he got Josh Hart and everyone was like, dude, like it's just Josh Hart chill out. But like But it's like boys. your boy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. your best friend. I also thought it was so funny that they like clown Mikhail Bridges now. Cause he was like also on that team, yeah. And like he's like in Brooklyn now, yeah. and they're like, "Yo, are you coming to dinner? Like what?" <laughs> and he's like, "Dude, fuck you." No, but I like I like the Knicks this year, honestly. I think, and for some reason, they've been underdogs. I feel like a lot in this yeah. past nine game stretch. No, I know. No, they're Prince and coin right now. Could be play. Are the Celtics done? The Celtics. Uh, oh my god, they just pissed away a win last night. I, I mean, dude, know. they look bad. They pissed one away. Grant Williams goes uh, tie game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got to tell this. T tie game, uh, they just sold. Like, they were winning the entire game as, like, plus 300 dogs with no Tatum or, or Jalen Brown was playing. No Tatum. Uh, they somehow fucking sell the lead. Grant Williams drives to the rack as time's expiring. Zero's on the clock. He gets fouled. So, he, you can win the game right here. There's not a second left on the clock. He just got fouled with zeros. Clank. Clank. But say what he said before he took the free throws. <laughs> what he said? You didn't see that? No. Walking to the free throw line, he said, "I'm gonna hit them both and end this game." No. Yeah, Grant Williams said, "I'm hitting both these and I'm ending the game," and then he missed both free throws. I'm gonna pull up the video right now. No shot. That's what I thought you were gonna tell, no. dude. He's the biggest bozo in the NBA right now, dude. As he's walking to the free throw line, he goes, "I'm making them both." Clank. 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 <laughs> look. No yeah. Look. To Donovan Mitchell in his grill, and he goes, "Oh my god, I'm making them both." I did not. Hey, see Grant that. Williams, you can't say you're making them both with the game on the line and miss them both. <laughs> <laughs> like that's incredible. That's brutal, dude. Just look at just look at the video. Like that is, you are a bot. I'm making them both. I'm making them both. <laughs> dude, like. He said it twice and missed two free throws. Like, you have to retire. I feel like you have to retire. That's unreal. And I don't know who, like, Grant Williams was kind of like John Morant last year in the playoffs. Like, I don't know who told Grant Williams that he's, like, tough like that or, like, good because he's not. Like, he's really not. Do you remember last year in the playoffs? Yeah. He'd be, like, thought he was, like, dropping, like, 30 and he'd have, yeah. like, 11. And you'd be like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I don't know who told Grant Williams he was, like, built like that, but he's really not. Dude, the fucking NBA goat well is probably more than caked. No, he's gonna get suspended. I mean, the only way I am s saved is if Prize Picks pulls a. Uh, well, no, the NBA just opened an investigation know, now, so but, he's for sure done. But in order for you to count in the goat whale, you got to play at least forty-six games or forty-one games in the season. He's played fifty. Oh, so they can't even void him. So the only way is if they do a good marketing, you know, scheme where, like, we're going to avoid all John Morant bets. That's the only way. Because if they don't, then I'm fucked. Mm. Yeah. Or he comes out and drops a Wilt 100. 
which <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Dude, but this has been such an interesting, like, he's coming out now saying he's struggling with, like, his yeah. mental health. Dude, it just feels very, I don't know. I'm sure he's struggling, but it also feels like, dude, this shit has been going on for since the playoffs last yeah. year. I don't want to, like, shit talk. Him no, of course shit. not. Like, Obviously. yeah, of course not. Like, respect the jaw, but, like. But did you see the meeting that Steven Adams had? No. The night before he went out and was, like, brandishing the Glock in the club? No. Steven Adams had a team meeting. I saw it on Twitter. Steven Adams had a team meeting and said um, he had everybody in the locker room and said they need to start being more disciplined as a team and stop going out on the road and, and being in the hotel by, you know, curfew and, and, like, starting to, like, really put together, like, a team environment. Next night, John Morant went out to the club no. and did that shit. Yeah. Like, Steven Adams literally had that meeting the day before and was like, we need to start being more disciplined. Like, we can't be going out on the road as much, like, all this shit. And then he went to the club literally the next day. Shout out Steven Adams. Dude, shout out Steven Adams, dude. Like, he, he, if there was, like, you look at that roster, you're like, dude, what is Steven Adams doing on that roster? Like, that's just, like, a bunch of goons and then, like, Steven Adams. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, that just feels like a train wreck. Dude. Yeah. We somehow wreck. talk about the Grizzlies every, every episode. Every single episode. <laughs> I always find a way to bring up the goat whales. I'm always <laughs> thinking about it. Like, I've been sitting on my phone for weeks, like, trying to get Jaw to turn green. And now he's just never going to turn green. I mean, we'll see, though. You could have, like, a late... Uh, no, I don't know. He he should probably be suspended. Especially if he's got stuff going on, I would suspend him for the rest of the season and let him figure yeah. it out. Because he's got such a future ahead of him. Like, I hope he figures it out, dude. Yeah. Because yeah. he is exciting to watch. Dude. He is. He really is. You just couldn't, <clears throat> you couldn't have scripted a bigger nightmare for when I was making my TikToks about doubling down on the go well. Oh, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't have made it any worse. No, that was I guess bad. An ACL would have probably been worse, but, like, this is just... I don't know. The ACL, you could at least chalk it up to an injury. This is, like, yeah, off the court yeah, stuff yeah, where you're, like, yeah. just... It's God, like, come dude. on, Put dude. the gun away. I mean, first it was Tom Brady getting divorced. <laughs> then it was Cole Caulfield tearing his ACL. And then it was now Jaw fucking... I don't even want to... I don't even know how to describe what he's doing. Just with his two-inch Glock. He's got to hold like that. Little squirt gun. <laughs> That shit was a squirt gun. A squirt gun Glock. He held it like this, and it didn't even touch his eyebrows from here. Um, no, that was, I mean, yeah, that's just, that's just tough luck. But that leads us into our next segment. We are going to be cooking a full MLB goat whale in the episode. We talked about it a little bit, and I think it'd be a good idea if we just had a full cook session so people could see, like, you know, not just, like, us showing up with the squares, kind of going through the squares and figuring out what we want. Yep. Um, I think it should be six legs. I think it's six. It, yeah. Really? Because I enjoyed following your NFL goat whale. That was six. It was five. Was it five? All oh, goat whale. That's like my unwritten rule because four legs, you miss one, you're in piss, right? Five legs, you miss one, you still can 2X. And so when I was sweating out, you know, Derrick Henry, right? Um, I, was, I was even begging for four out of six. All I needed was one touchdown, but even though Tom Brady was caked in week one, literally, mm -hmm. I was still having fun sweating out the opportunity to get uh, three or five, four or five, because you still get that money back. Adding that sixth leg just like decreases your chances of fucking hitting tremendously. I'm, oh, let's do five. I'm not telling you we, can, we can't do six, but my unwritten rule is just all go. Whales should be five. No, I'm down to do five. Let's do five. Okay. Let's do five. Let's do five. Um, okay, wait. Uh, what? Let's start with the recipe here. Before we get into the players, what do we want? Do we want one in each category? Do we want like how many pitchers? Two pitchers, three hitters. I think we should do two pitchers, three hitters. Okay. I like that because then we're rooting for you know, yeah, know, both. I don't yeah, want yeah. just like one pitcher. I can't wait to fucking lace up the jersey for when our guys are starting. That's what like, I'm saying. Like that's a holiday. So two pitchers. Three hitters for our hitters. Do we want like one home run, one hit, one RBI? Yeah, I actually like that a lot. Okay. Yeah. I already have our hit though. I'm sorry. Okay, what is it? I came to the table with one just because I really want to root for him this year. O'Neill Cruz. Is that bad? Nick, how many hits did O'Neill Cruz have last year, if you know? Because I feel like I'm okay with you saying no to anything I throw out there. I don't know if they have it. <gasps> they took him off. Yeah. They only have his home runs and multi-home runs. 
Nick, can you check Wander Franco and Tim Anderson for hits? Do you like a Wander Franco bounce back year? Or what are your thoughts on that? I'm I'm down for whatever the fuck you want to ride. Let's each do two squares that we both want to die on a grave on. And okay. Then agree. Wander Franco's us 87. On one. So I can't talk you off of any two that you want. And same goes for me. Okay, I want. I really want you to pick the pitchers because okay. I feel like you sweated a lot of nerfies last year and a lot of strikeout props, so and I didn't. I I sweat a lot of like minus one and a halfs and money lines, so I feel like I was paying attention to who got hits a lot. Wander Franco eighty seven, Tim Anderson a hundred. Okay, Wander Franco was hurt, and Tim Anderson's lines at one fifty nine and a half. I'm gonna go Wander Franco. Wander Franco hits hits. I really like that this okay. year. For mine. I'm going to do – this one almost made it my gut well. But I think it's got to be Nolan Arenado home runs. I think it's got to be. You're going to – okay. You don't like I know. I like the 9. 28 and a half. I like that. Well, let's go to the St. Louis guy. Do you like that? Yeah, I think uh, if you're going one on those two, if Goldschmidt, Arenado, you got to go Arenado. Arenado – How many did he have last year? Arenado had – Nicky or Nick. Arnado had, I think, like 32. Uh, last year. Oh, we don't have home runs here. We got to go to fantasy. My guess. Home is runs, 30. I love 28 and a half. 30. Aren't the Cardinals supposed to be good this year, too? Yes, they are. I mean, they always are supposed to be good. Okay, good. let's do. Tw- I love that. Wow. So let's go, Trent. Wander. That was electric. Hits, Nolan. And Nolan Arenado. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I say we do no Padres players because I don't want to watch Padres games. I'm down. Do they? Always, I feel like they sold me so many times last year. The last thing I want to do is take like because I was just looking at it and I was like, I don't hate one of the two Soto or Machado's RBIs, but I don't want to watch Padres games and have them sell me because they sold me so many times last yeah, year. Yeah, and those those are for sure inflated. Just considering how stacked that lineup is, and yep. everyone's fucking creaming over them. So we got two, one mm-hmm. from each of us. And for the, are we doing strikeouts, 10 plus strikeout games, saves? Like, how do you want to do the, should we just do strikeouts or ERA? Do you want to do one ERA, one strikeouts? I, honestly, I was, I was told to, to avoid ERAs. Okay. Just because they're just like kind of random ass numbers that could be so, and they would have to be an under, which I know you hate. I also will say I have Sandy Alcantara in every single one of my MLB entries so far. So I'm down to not have him, but also I'm down to have him. Uh, let's let's not put him in here. Okay. What about uh, let's agree on let's, – let's come together and agree on this third hitter. Okay. It's RBIs, right? Yeah. Okay. Jordan. I was looking at him too, <laughs> dude. I was looking at him too. But 106 seems like so many, dude. <laughs> that seems like so- how many RBIs did Jordan have last year, Nick? Legacy numbers. Do you think it was like nuts? I mean, nuts. I know he had a crazy year. Nuts, especially in the series. He probably had 120. I wouldn't be shocked at all, dude. Uh, let's see. Here. And do you he know he had 2022 97? Wow, what a line! That line's crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy. I line. feel like he had a master class yeah. last year and didn't even sniff. I know. You know who I don't hate? Two. Don't say Jose Ramirez. No. I was going to say Bo Bichette at 92 and Bozo a half. Bozo Bichette. You don't like Bozo Bichette? Just thinking about those Blue Jays games last year, it was either him or Vlad every single time somebody scored. Do we know how many RBIs Bo had last year? Who jumps out at you? Like, how many games is Tatis playing? That you know, know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to touch guys like that. I mean, can't go wrong with an Astro. Bozo Bichette. 93 on Bichette RBI. Bozo Bichette's like an Austin Reeves. Dude, 93. <laughs> <laughs> he had 93? Yeah, they're, him and Austin Reeves are the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> if we put Bo Bichette, which I feel like, dude, he hit it last year by a half. 
Do the Blue Jays? So do the Blue Jays get better this year? I wouldn't be down. I wouldn't be opposed to Bozo Bichette. Well, who else are you? <laughs> like, imagine sh- saddling up for Bozo RBIs. Take him home, Bichette. <laughs> Take him home. Like, but who else are you looking at? I'm not doing. I'm not doing the Rockies guy. So CJ Crone can lick me. I'm not doing Rockies. Yeah, I mean, honestly, at Coors Field though, could be electric. But like, we're not putting CJ Crone. Eight, eight and a half though, dude. When see you want, you want to be sweating CJ Crone at bats. No, I don't. Yeah, I mean, dude, I it's not lot. happening. I did a lot last year, but I think it could be Bozo Bichette. Do you want to do Bozo? Because I like that number, low key. Wander Franco hits. Nolan Arenado home runs. Bozo Bichette RBIs. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, all right. Like, even though we call him Bozo Bichette, like, he comes through. He comes through, yeah. dude. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. What? All right. Are we married to those? I'm married to those three. Okay. Do you like those hitters, though? Be honest. Like, you're the baseball guy. I mean, Wander Franco. No? No. I, I he like was it. hurt last year, though, I so like keep it. that in I mind. Like it. Dude's a fucking wagon. Yeah, okay. Nolan Arenado was a fringe goat whale. Bozo Bichette. Is that our meme guy? I think we got to saddle up and ride those. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. All right, the pitchers is really where I'm relying on you because I didn't watch a lot of, like, nerfies or yurfies last year for pitching. The only guy that jumps out at me for strikeouts is Tristan McKenzie. I feel like he had a nuts year last year, and I keep seeing him all over my feed this year. But I don't know, like, is, how many strikeouts did McKenzie's Tristan McKenzie have last year? A dog. A dog. I would 100% ride McKenzie. Would you be intrigued by a 10-plus strikeout prop or no? Yeah, but isn't that a lot? <laughs> That's a lot, yeah. but like, Wouldn't mean, we be rooting for like a legacy game? Yeah, but these pitchers often have legacy games. I don't see any that I'm like in love with. Blake Snell at five and a half. That's wild. Tristan McKenzie had uh, 190 strikeouts last year. His line this year is 185. I can see a big year from Tristan. I'm more than down from Tristan in there. Do you want to? I mean, we don't have he's to. A, he's a fringe goat well. I'm not married. I'm kind of married. All right, let's do it. His McKenzie, strikeouts, though? McKenzie's strikeouts. Yep. What if we got, like, a closer? You want to do saves? <laughs> Edwin Diaz. Should we take Kenley over his no. saves, dude? He's a dude. That line. I'm pretty sure he's cleared that number in every game. Oh no, he's season. not getting over that. But the reason it's so low is because he's on the Red Sox, who are going to be poverty. I like that he's going to be on a poverty team. Um, I feel like a uh, closer could be too cookie. I don't really love the closers. No. I'll be honest, because I feel like. You're, like, rooting for a situation. Yeah, and it's, like, mm, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. If we were to do one, it would have to be Klaas or Diaz. Yeah. I don't really like any of the other no. guys. No. Let's go back to strikeouts. Okay. <clears throat> like, who are your goats? You were, you were doing strikeout props all the time. Okay, like, is goats, Luis Castillo up there? My goats all year. Shane Bieber. Um... Luis Castillo, Hunter Green, Dylan Cease. Do you like Dylan? We'll be Cease and <laughs> the We'll be Cease. Dylan Cease, the mustache, going to go fucking off. Um, Syndergaard on the Dodgers? Let's think about who we want to lace up. Okay. Who do we want to... When we wake up, fucking blank day. Right now, I feel like we have no misses. Cleveland, Toronto, St. Louis, Tampa Bay. I could get up for all those games. Yeah. Who do we want? Who is it? Whose jersey are we throwing on? Horny as shit. Ready to watch Masterclass. I feel like you have to have a Dodgers player in there. Should we throw a Dodgers guy in there? Not Kershaw. Do you want to do? Do you want to do him? Who? Julio Urias? Syndergaard? Syndergaard? He's a bozo. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> No, we need a goat. Like Spencer Strider. That Spencer Strider. Yeah, can we get a Braves guy in dude, here? Dude, what if we had two mustaches? Can we get a Bra- Strider and Cease? We have to, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Hold on. I need to like Strider's mustache is fucking stout. <laughs> that thing is goaded. Strider and Cease. I don't want to root for the White Sox though. You don't like the White Sox? I don't want to watch White Sox games. Yeah, they're pretty gross. Yeah, like you I don't want to definitely watch. Definitely do not want to watch White Sox games. You do? You do not. Yeah, dude, I don't want to watch White Sox games. Strider but I'm down to root for the Braves, dude. Strider and McKenzie. I mean, that feels like Air. free. Air. It does, though. Strider's a strikeout machine. All right, I just want you to go through the five that we have picked right now and just tell me how you feel. Got check. Wander Franco on the Tampa Bay Rays. What was he hurt with last year? Yeah, Nick, can you look that up, actually? I think it was something to do with his ankle or something, if I remember, because I was a Rays fan in the beginning of the year, and then he got hurt, and I was done. I was like, I can't do this shit. I mean, I know Javon would approve of that. He's obsessed with the Rays. Um, mm-hmm. Whenever we get that injury. I mean. Nolan, I'm in love with. Nolan Bozo Kenny. Bichette, I'm in love with. I'll be honest, I'm only in love with three. Tristan, Bo, and Nolan. Tristan. Wander and Spencer, I could get up for. Like, I would be excited to watch them. But if we wanted to, like, get weirder with, like, let's look at hits again. Let's look at hits again. I'm I not, feel like we were quick on Wander. There might be someone more free than Wander. Yeah. Even though I do expect a big year out of him. Trey <clears throat> Like, do you want to do a Dodgers hits? He was kind of banged up with everything. He had quad. He had wrist. He had broken hand. Wander? Yeah. Uh, we got to take him out. Yeah, we ought to take him <laughs> Dude, out. Dude, what? No, he's out. Yeah, no, he's out. He's out. He's out. Or should we do someone on the ring? No, the Rangers suck. I love Bozo and Nolan. Let's, that's our foundation so far. Well, I like Tristan. Do you not like Tristan? Uh, I love Tristan, too. Okay, okay. Bozo and Nolan and Tristan, I'm down for. Foundation three. I mean, if, Here you wanna, the guys, if you want a I safe would... guy, you go um, Pena on the Astros. Mm. I don't think they have him. Is he not up? No. That's tough. Anybody on the Astros, a team that's going to be winning a lot of games. Are you going only overs? Yeah. Is Julio Should off? we do the Mookie Man? Mookie. <laughs> Should we do the Mookie Man? Mookie. At 154 hits. How many hits did he have last year, Nick? Mookie Betts? Although Trey Turner could be air. I feel like Trey Turner. You want to do Trey? Trey's playing on the Phillies now. Yeah, you know he's on the Phillies, right? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> really? I can't. I can't do that. Or do you want, if you like Trey, I'll do it. Mookie at 154 hits. Is Julio off? The oh, my God. That's a sharp line. Yeah. That's exactly what he's so at. Sharp. <laughs> Are you off Julio because of your go well? No, I'm down. Do you want to do J-Rod? My only thing is, are the Mariners going to be good this year? Yeah. Okay. Yes, they will. Work. Dude, that, that's a solid foundation. Nolan home runs, Bozo RBIs, and Julio hits. I, I mean, like they're that. they're in a they're in a tough division with Houston, who's probably still going to win that division. But they're going to be a wild card team. They should be. They were a wild card team last year, and they should compete in that division. It's Angels, Rangers, Athletics. I mean, also. dude, that's our five. Who's the Who's the two pitchers? Tristan, Tristan. and who? Spencer Strider. Are you down for that? Do you want to take Strider out? I no, feel like I, we rush Strider. I, I, Strider's a strikeout goat. Like, if there's a Mount Rushmore of strikeout goats, okay. I'd say he's probably number four. Well, you look look at the strikeouts one more time. Just look through them. Garrett Cole, no. DeGrom, fought, they put DeGrom back up. Should we? Interesting. That makes me feel like he's going to play a lot this year. They took him off. I know. Well, because they said he was going to have to get surgery. Like, I don't want to ride DeGrom, Cole, or Scherzer, to be honest. No, I don't either. I don't really want, like, I don't want, like, yeah, the like guys like even Zach Wheeler, even though he's fucking wet. Sandy, no. Verlander, I don't. No Robbie Ray, no Luis Castillo. No Astros players feels wild. I know. Christian Javier is such a dog. I know, dude. I was just let that's when I when I said that, it, that's who I was looking at. I could be down for him. Let's put an asterisk next to Javier. Yeah, asterisk. Also, no Dodgers players is crazy too, because you watch every Dodgers game. But I'm not doing Julio Urias. <laughs> uh dude. The only ones I'm down for, Strider. Uh, Christian Javier. Frambler Valdez is also a goat. Yeah. 
Frambler. How many strikeouts did Frambler have last year, Nick? So I'm I'm only down for Schrider, McKenzie. What was the other one I fucking said? Javier, mm -hmm. Dylan Cease. Those four. Okay. So we got McKenzie in there. We got McKenzie. So it's either Javier, Valdez, Dylan Cease, Brandon Woodruff, honestly. I feel like Shohei. Should we? No, I did. I can't do Shohei. Frambler had one ninety four. Frambler had one ninety four. Dude, his line's at one seventy nine. He went the fuck off last year. That's twenty strikeouts what over about his line. Javier. Christian Javier, Nick. Are you married to Tristan? I feel like you don't love that one. No, I fucking Tristan's a dog. Okay, okay, okay. Like Tristan and Lodolo are like my two favorite. Also one ninety four. Dude, twenty strikeouts over the line for Frambler and only three strikeouts under for Christian. Is there sneak value on Frambler? How many for Strider? I don't know if you already said that. Strider's at 205, dude. But his line's at like eight and a half every game, which is like up there with the highest. Because he always... 202. Worked. 202. Was that his rookie season? Yes, it was. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. He was a rookie last year? Yeah. Yes, he was. Dealing like that? Yeah, he's that gross. Dude, that's despicable. Where'd he go? Fucking Goat University? Like, what? Hey, Siri. Where did Spencer Strider go to college? Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> he was dealing at Clemson like that. Dude, that's disgusting. That is gross. You were looking at that 10, 10 plus strikeout prop. Sandy said at three and a half. He had five last year. Sandy at five? Yeah. As the uh, well, yeah, because he pitched like nine innings, like seven times. As the Cy Young. Okay, but hear me out. Sophomore slump for Strider. If anything, he is solid potential for that ten plus. Wow, eight and a half. No, I can't line. do that. I can't oh. do. Yeah, that. he was throwing. He was dealing ten every game. I can't do that. That's eight and a half is nuts. That's nuts. That's like almost every start. Wait, what about your goat? Who? Lodolo. <laughs> <laughs> He's going in the go well. So okay, yeah, we'll keep him out. <laughs> keep him out. Keep him out. All right, I'm down to remove nobody. I think we ride a Strider, even though he went under his line last year. But I mean, do we really think he's going to get 206 yeah, dude, strikeouts? Dude, the mustache man. Yes, oh. that's a solid foundation of JV Super Goats. JV <laughs> Super. I hate that you just said that. <laughs> That just made me not want to place this. No, dude. Like this, if I could throw an eight-legger, I would put these fuckers in there. Bozo yeah. Bichette is the only one where I'm like, why? Like, he's the Austin Reeves of this entry. <laughs> but I'm so down to lace him up for Bozo Bichette. All right. I'm going to... <laughs> now we're lacing him up for Bozo yeah. Bichette. Like, that's one guy that's not leaving the yeah. entry now. Okay. Um, I'm just going to read you some Instagram captions. And... When I'm done reading them, I want you to be like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I like this guy or I don't like this guy. I'm not going to tell you who they are of our go whales, but you're just going to have to go. That's with a it. great way to pick. All right. You're a daisy if you do. Fuck. Going to be a cheer coach's husband. No. It's tribe time now. No. We're just having the best time in Cape Cod. Roll tribe. Is this Tristan? No. Destiny waits for no man. The time is now. Die hard since 1998. Lesson number one. Don't think. It can only hurt the ball club. Is that a guy you want in the goat whale? Just take, take a minute. No. That's Spencer Strider. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Might be the dustiest Instagram I've ever seen, dude. But maybe he's so locked in on the mound that it doesn't matter. Dude. We're all just a kid from somewhere trying to do what we love. I respect that one. That's a good one. I don't hate that one. 
I mean, you are looking at the sport of baseball where some guys... Dude, baseball players are bots. <laughs> Guy on the Cardinals drank an entire bottle of vodka before he would pitch. Who? Guy on the Cardinals and with throw strikes because he had the yips, and vodka would take the yips away. So, the baseball players are crazy. You tried breed. vodka <laughs> for the yippies? I mean, yeah. Bo Bichette doesn't even have an Instagram, so I mean... That's I, good. That's huge. Love that. I like this little report we're doing. Yeah, no, I do if like I would have too. done this beforehand, maybe I wouldn't have taken Tom Brady and John Morant. If you looked at John <laughs> Morant's social media, I think you would have definitely not taken him. Yeah. Let me look up... Um, How about... Uh, I'm going to look Julio. up Tristan. Julio Young Buck could get in some trouble. Could get in some trouble. <laughs> All right, here we go. We need to look at resumes. I got another one for you. Here we go. Off the field. Here we go. Blessed to be in a position to give back and grow the game of baseball. Love that. Love that. Golden at Nike headquarters, finding the thrill. Respectable. Respectable. Yeah, I got to hit you right back. I'm at the Derby on a jet ski right now. Questionable. <laughs> I missed the mini mic already. Okay. Might might be into rapping. Hard to sum this whole season up. No, that's 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 a sum up the season. Yeah. No words, just actions. Tristan McKenzie's in the gut whale just wow. off that post just alone. That post. I'm in. <laughs> I'm so in on Tristan McKenzie. I'm in. All right, here we go. Last guy. Oh, we got Nolan and then J Rod. All right, here we go. Nolan's a. Yeah, he's lunch a l- pail lunch guy. pail guy. You're not getting much. He's a lunch pail yeah, guy. He's just showing up. He goes home All to right, the kids, comes back. There is no limit to what we can create. Yeah. Back outside. With good with good emoji choice. Back at it again. Who is this? This is just a guy that loves ball. What an unforgettable night in New York. Is this Nolan? My life lately. This is J-Rod. Oh. No... Roy Riguez, rookie of the year, Rodriguez. Roy Riguez. Wow, dude. I, I like J-Rod's social media presence a lot. Okay. Let's see Nolan. I expect, like, a dad. I don't think he has Instagram. He's a lunch pail guy. He has one. He has one. Here we go. Another bomb. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> done. Done. <laughs> Nolan bomb. <laughs> Well, what's his Instagram? I've always liked these red jerseys. What's his Instagram? Nolan Arenado. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another bomb. <laughs> I mean, could you want anything better for your home run prop? No, he's in. No, he's in. He made the. No, game. he's good. Yeah. No, he's good. good. <laughs> All right, there we go. Everybody's in. Strider just doesn't pass the vibe check. Should we take him out and put Christian Javier or Frambler just for the Instagram alone? <laughs> <laughs> or should we trust him i think strider is trustworthy all right we'll keep strider in even though yeah, the I'll vibes were so well. off nolan arnado home runs bozo bichette rbis julio hits mckenzie k's strider case love it i love it i actually love it and now for the how many did I, I was planning on putting five on this but now looking at it i might put ten Like eleven hundred, like a thousand. I'm gonna do it. I'm also gonna put a thousand on it. No way. Yeah. I have enough in no the balance. No way. Yeah. Well, I won, dude. I won like three straight college basketball yeah, when I was in Providence. Hobbies, bro. Yeah, I placed it. I just put a grand on it. An error has occurred. What? Mine successfully submitted. I knew you were gonna snake out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've officially witnessed an MLB goat whale cook sesh. We've been talking about this since they dropped the lines like a month ago. I'm excited. And we sat down and we cooked up Nolan Arenado more than his home runs. Bozo Bichette more than his RBIs. Tristan McKenzie more than his strikeouts. Spencer Strider more than his strikeouts. And Julio Rodriguez more than his hits. A thousand to win 10 racks. Um, wow. What, can you repeat it one more time? Nolan home runs. Nolan. Bozo Bouchette RBIs. Bozo. Tristan McKenzie strikeouts. 
this year on RBIs. Uh, McKenzie, or no, it was Julio Hits. I like doing them in order. And then McKenzie, Tristan, mm -hmm. and Spencer Strider. Strider. I had to log out. Um, 10 U whale incoming. <laughs> We're locked. I forgot you made me do an NFL MLB season one yesterday. What did you do? Remember I did an MLB yeah. NFL season yesterday? Oh, shit. What? I have Julio's hits in it. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, that's I love our go whale. I can't believe they took off O'Neal Cruz's hits. Because I have his hits in one of my entries. So soft. Um, no, that's the goat whale. How do you feel about it? Yeah, can we get a round of applause in the studio here, guys? I expect... <laughs> I hate when you do that so much. I... Dude, I know we're going to be at Stadium Swim, and I'm going to be nuke-jobbed off, in like... Well. Tequila sunrises, and we're gonna be on the same bed, and we're gonna be going nuts, and you're gonna be like, <laughs> and I'm gonna stop clapping, and it's gonna get me so bad, dude. I'm gonna be like, God damn it! Let's go. I love it. No, I actually love this go well. We're gonna get Nick to download Prize Picks and actually place this one, so he has to ride it. I just the, locked it in from the producer. Gym. We need jerseys <gasps> of every single guy. I got Arnado already. I'm not even kidding. I'm actually gonna buy every single jersey of these yeah. guys. Like I'm gonna go on DH Gate. Yeah. For every time they play, I need to be suited up. Have to be. Because I just put a grand on that. Yeah. That's my biggest entry. That you haven't placed a great a no. before? Wow. Wow. How'd it feel? Dude, it, uh, honestly, it was a little scary. Yeah. I have two grand to work with in my prize picks from what I've built up um, of like my college basketball season, and I just spent half of it on an MLB goat whale. It's an investment. It's an investment. <laughs> Dude, imagine it hits. And Bozo Bichette is it? Yeah. I can't believe we invested in Bozo Bichette. God <laughs> damn it. But it's all right. I love everyone else, though. You're going to need uh, Spencer Strider better be the MVP of the goddamn league yeah. at this rate. No, he will. He's a fucking demon. All right, let's go. Um, all right, well, next episode is going to be the episode before we head out for Vegas. We've got a lot of fun March Madness content coming. Um, we're going to be talking brackets. We're going to be talking conference winners coming up soon here. Um, by the Friday episode, we're going to have almost every single conference tournament either in the finals or semifinals. So we're going to be like right there knowing what's going to happen in college basketball going into March, uh, like the tourney. And um, it's going to get weird for the next couple months here. We got the NBA starting to kick into gear. It's starting to get exciting. Um, the NHL is still kicking along. Um, and then we're going to get the MLB here soon. So, wow, I can't believe I just put a rack on that, dude. Yep, now it's going to be in the queue all the way until October. I'm going to have to put that on my fridge. Yeah. Like, actually, just, like, look at it every morning just to be, like, you know, like, Those lock in. Like, lock in. Yep. All right, word. Um, this has been another episode of TFM Bets. Trent, why don't you tell them where they can find you? Follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. I book it with Trent. Follow the Twitch channel. I book it sports. Uh, tune into the surgical stream every weekday, 1 p.m. Central. Um, you can find me Mikey over on every platform other than Instagram. It's michael.j.overs. Do you know the story behind that? No. It's you. <laughs> when I first came up with Mikey overs, I, I would like come into even J. Yeah. That's why you did it. Oh, wow. I would come into calls and you'd be like, Michael J overs. <laughs> and I'd be like, what? dude?" And that was like all you called me for like a month straight. You'd be like Michael J. Yeah, and then on TikTok when I would take over to like sweat the table tennis on live late night, yeah, back out of my hand it over to Michael J overs. <laughs> I was like, dude, what the fuck is going on, dude? That's so hilarious. that's why I made it the Instagram. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys share a pod with a friend. We have a really exciting interview coming in in Vegas, and we're gonna try to do a couple more interviews. I want to get Lauren on the couch for um, mid majors. Maybe on Friday we can get her on um, to talk mid major for college basketball. That'd be solid. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys, and uh, this has been another episode live from the dojo. Peace,